Hi, so today I'm going to be doing another Roblox tutorial about um, how to make an advanced flashlight. What I mean by an advanced flashlight, I mean like, it isn't like a tool. It follows where the player's head goes to the player's mouse. So let's get right into it. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into starter player, starter player scripts, or starter character scripts, I mean, insert a local script. And this one you're just gonna call for say FPS arms. Now I'm only I'm recording this right after actually programming this myself, just so I can easily remember. It's just kind of easier. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. So a simple way of doing this is just this. So the first things that you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to do local self comma player equals script parent and game dot players dot local player. So now we have the self and the player. So basically the self is just a script and then the player is just the player. So this is all client side, so nobody else is going to be able to see it. Uh, you can probably do this just on a server script by using remote events, but it's not recommended to use remote events with a uh, render step because you'll overload the thing and everything will just go wrong and cause lag on the server. So... Now you're going to want to do local char equals player dot character or player dot character added colon wait. Then you're going to want to do local humanoid equals char colon wait for child humanoid. So now we have the humanoid. Um, we're going to do local run service equals game colon get service run service. So basically render step allows you to uh, call a function every single time the game renders or well frame per se every frame per second basically so say your game's running at 60 fps every 60 times per second this function is called so you have 60 functions every second um so this is useful for um multiple things local mouse equals player colon get mouse Local cam equals workspace dot current camera. Local char. Why is that in there twice? Local head equals char dot colon wait for child head. Local neck equals head colon wait for child. Now, if this is um a R6 character, you're going to want to do a torso colon wait for child neck. You're going to want to make a uh, variable that's similar to this local torso equals char colon wait for child torso because uh, r6 characters only have one part uh like one torso and that's the torso itself there's no lower torso there's no upper torso there's no nothing so the neck the shoulders and the uh, leg attachments are all inside of the torso so but in the but in r15 the head is connected or the neck is connected via the head so now we're going to do local um, humanoid root part, which I'm just going to do HRP equals char, call my for child humanoid root part. Local neck origin C0, which is the C frame of the um, part zero uh, part of the uh, next motor 60 equals neck dot C0. Now that we have the C frame zero, we can go ahead and do repeat, wait uh, until PLR or until char, and then um, char, uh, and then we're gonna do um, game dot. Uh, actually, this will make it a little simpler here. This is where our run service is gonna come in. Run dot render run service dot render set connect function. Now you can make this into something like, a, I don't know, maybe like function update or something, but I just like doing it plain. This kind of can cause double stuff and it's not very nice. Local. All right. So now we're going to do char dot head or well, we all know why this is like that, but neck dot head neck origin C zero equals C frame dot new zero. There's zero. There one. Times C frame dot angles negative math dot a sign 
m and so you're going to do double brackets m dot origin dot p minus or actually hold on mouse dot origin dot position n minus mouse dot hit dot position dot unit dot y plus zero comma zero comma zero So that is our, uh, this is basically done now. So if we go ahead and play test, you'll be able to see that that actually works. There we go. Okay, I fixed it. So the neck is detached, but you can fix that quite simply. So to fix this, all you gotta do is just underneath the repeat wait until, just add char equals char and mouse equals mouse, because I guess toward the end it's gonna become nil. Um, and you're gonna change this from uh, neck C0 or neck origin C0 to just char that head dot neck dot C0, because you're accessing directly and up here it's not updating. So that's basically that. And next thing that we are going to go ahead and do is adjust this. So we're going to do, we're just going to 0.75. All right, that looks good. 0.75. Alrighty. Next up is the uh, flashlight coding portion, I guess. So we're going to make a local script, and then we're going to go ahead and call this flashlight. So this is basically just the beginning, local char equals script up parent because this is inside a sort of character script, so you can just kind of access the char, uh, since these scripts go inside of the character, so you can just access the char just by doing, uh, or the character by just doing script up parent. Because these don't load until they get put inside the player. Then they're loaded, basically. So, next we're going to do local rs equals game, colon get service, run service. And then local mouse equals game dot players dot local player, colon get mouse. And then local, uh, this is optional if you want to use my module for this. Um, but in case you guys don't want to use my module, I will uh, actually show you guys a way of doing working around that. Um, script dot wait for child animations, and I'm gonna just copy this over because it kind of works for all. So I'm going to put the module in the description, but if you do not want to use my module, you can just go ahead and copy this and write it out yourself. It's the most simple animation code that you can do. It's literally just change this stuff, get it to how you like it, and then just make a function. Animation is called tween. And if you don't know how modules work, we can do all this in the script in only one code. So how you would do that is in, we're gonna I'm gonna do it without my module. So we're gonna do uh, local ts, which is tween service equals game colon get service tween service local ti equals tween info dot new, and then we're gonna do uh, zero point one. Enum.easy install. Now, this can be whatever you want, but I recommend sign because it's just smoother. Um, easy in direction. Doesn't really matter. Just do in at or in, either in out, out or in work pretty well. And that's really it that you have to put in. So, next up is the follow point. So, we're going to do fp equals instance.new. And then we're just going to do, I'm just going to copy this over from my code here. Um, just go ahead and pause the video, type this out, uh, it's fairly simple. Uh, actually, I would recommend just doing, instead of flashlight attach part, you should just do follow point, but I'm just gonna do it like that. So next up, we're gonna do the create flashlight. We're gonna actually create the flashlight itself now. Not just the fo follow point, we're gonna be making the part that produces the light. 
The reason why we're making the follow point is because we're going to be tweening the flashlight's point, or, well, the part of the flashlight, to the follow point to basically make it look a little bit nicer. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, if you don't understand functions, I will make it as simple as I can. It's fairly easy to understand simple functions and stuff. You're just going to do function create flashlight no no nothing between those brackets and then just enter you'll get this end here if you don't get the end automatically just go ahead and enter down type an end and that's it so you're going to do local fl actually we're going to go ahead and just copy this again paste it here but put the parent right here so this is so this is the item that we are making the string of the item that we are making, and this is the parent. We're not specifically setting it here, we're setting it in this. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to do FP. So the parent of this, of the... Also, you should change all of these to FL for flashlight. Or else that'll mess up. Also change the name to just flashlight. Alright. So next up, we have... Um, oh yeah, I almost forgot. We need to make the light. So one way that you could do this is you can make the light specifically in the code and make it any time you do that. Or you could just go into studio here and you could make a part, make it one by one by one. Move this here. Copy and I'm just going to copy and paste it, but you should just go ahead and use these settings. Uh, you can kind of adjust these for however you want. If you want to as well, you no, I wouldn't recommend it, but you can make a beam in the object, but I wouldn't recommend it. But just go ahead and copy these settings. Pause right here. Copy these settings. Also, you should have this on future. If you don't have future, then you shadow map. And if it's on shadow map, adjust the settings for shadow map. Um, If you're using something like compatibility, it's not going to look very nice. Or voxel, it's not going to look very nice. Just use either shadow map or future. Future, in my opinion, looks the best. Now, now that you have your light part, put that inside of your script, your local script here. <clears throat> You're going to do local light equals script, colon, wait for child, light, clone, clone. Light dot parent equals FL. And then right down here, you're going to do return FL. So, you're just, so anytime you call this function, it's going to return this. So now we're going to go ahead and do um, local flashlight equals create flashlight. And then we're going to do rs.render step to connect function and fp. So this is the follow point dot c frame equals uh, char dot head dot c frame times c frame dot new zero comma zero comma negative one. So this is just going to multiply the position by one stud. So it's going to go forward. And then we're going to do fp.cframe. So up here we're going to add... Oh, we already got the mouse. Okay. Equals cframe.lookat. And then we're going to do uh, fp.position, comma, mouse.hit.position. And now this is the part where we're going to change the position. So fl.position equals fp.cframe.position. So if we go in... And we chat test. As we can see, it is there, but it doesn't follow the mouse position. As you can see, that one is following the mouse position, and it is pointing at it with the front surface. So it's the front surface, no matter what. But the flashlight part is not changing. That's where this portion of the code comes in. You can use my module for this if you want. Um, I'll actually add a variable up here and I'll do both. Local animations equals require script call away for child animations. If you want to, you can. It, I'm not forcing you. It's just an option if you want to. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do animations colon tween. Now skip over this if you do not really care for the idea of the my module, then you can skip over to basically the normal. So this part, we're going to do animations colon tween, and then we're going to do um, 
FP, or no, FL, and then we're going to do a table, so these squiggly brackets, orient orientation equals FP dot orientation. And bada bing, bada boom. Now I will show you the this version. As you can see, it's nice, smooth, slowly moves to your mouse. Um, now that's an issue. If you do a full 360, it doesn't like do it properly. So if you do a full 360 like this, it'll go in an opposite direction because it's too slow. Now, if you want to, you could change my module thing to do 0 0.01. As you can see, yeah, it's not that, but it's fairly fast. And also, just in case that does that in here, just copy this and then do a wait for child, and then boom. That should be good. Now let's test one more time. And yep, it's good. Awesome. So this is all in script. We're going to be doing this all in script. I'm just going to copy my values here. Um, it's the same thing for tween service. So we're just going to do ts colon create. And we're just going to do fl. And then we're just going to do tween info. Or actually ti because that's what we made it. And there we go. And it's basically the same thing, except for you have to add a play to the end, because, yeah. And we should be good. Yep, it's the exact same thing. Works the exact same way. And as you can see, you can look around like this. And it's just cool. Another way that you could actually do this is you could do, you could actually change its C frame. So from what we have now, we could just change this to C frame. And then we could do a C frame dot look at. Go ahead and copy this. But in our case, we'll just do FL dot position. But yeah, that's how you make the um, advanced flashlight in Roblox. If you want to change anything about this, go right on ahead. I really don't mind if you change anything. If anything, it just lets me know that I did something wrong. And yeah, if there's anything that you want me to make in the future, just let me know in the comments below. And make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.